If you like our first month videos, this one you're really gonna enjoy. We have Yorgos Giacometis with us and he's going to tell us a lot of things about something that you've never heard before. So let's see what he has to say. Hi everyone, hi Sergio, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I'm Yorgos Giacometis, I'm a software engineer. I joined Turbina about a little more than a month ago and it's great to be here. It's great to have you here, Yorgos. It has been a great journey so far with us. And being honest, if there is something that totally sets you aside from everyone else in the company, is the place where you're working from. So where is it? Oh, I'm working from my home in Greece. All right, that's a new one for Turbina Koisberg. Having someone working from Greece, it's something very exciting. And be totally honest, that give us some questions. Like, how did you know about to be in a cause back in the first place? Well, initially, um, I did have a colleague in the university, like many, many years ago, who reached out and talked to me about Turbina. I didn't even know Turbina, I couldn't even pronounce the name. Uh, so yeah, I got to know Turbina and I thought it would be very, very interesting to instantiate a discussion about me joining. That's actually curious. You didn't know us before. Of course, you have this person in, of contact that is working with us, but you yourself didn't have a personal contact with us. And we're actually curious to know what made you decide that huh, this might be an actual great place to work. Well, um, to be honest, I was on the fence, right? I mean, um, I couldn't make up my mind whether I want to join Turbina or not, but the critical aspect that led me to my decision was seeing people in Turbina who, who were there for like 10, 12 years, uh, this, uh, and seeing them talking about Turbina with such an, an admire, such a, a, an admirable way, that made me make up my mind because you know uh, in every workplace you have uh, pros and you have cons but having people with 10 years of experience at the same company says that uh, the company is really really nice and a very nice place to work all right so what actually made you decide that ah this is much better than what i was expecting well, I did expect a lot of um, uh, multiculturalities and different people and a work environment on which it would be very hard to adapt to. But it turns out that it was quite the opposite. Uh, the people of Turbina might be from a lot of different places, but they share common goals and they all share the same the same culture and the same philosophy for instance on my first day or even before i met people who uh, during my onboarding process that they made me feel very welcome to the new environment right they made me feel part of the team already i was i was two days in the company and i was already felt like i was there for quite a while a very interesting aspect about your onboarding is that you actually did it from Germany. So how did it all happen? Well, initially I was invited to uh, visit Germany and the headquarters in order to meet the people in, in Germany and meet the colleagues and also get the feeling of the culturality that we would like to establish for the Greek office. You have been working remotely since the beginning. What's your experience so far? Well, the remote working is not new for me, but the remote working at Turbina is something totally different. It's, it's a whole new experience. I mean, in Turbina, you get the chance to uh, to work remotely, but at the same time, you have a chance to socialize with all of your colleagues. Um, maybe it's because of the mobbing, or the pairing, or 
the events that are there, you know, everybody participates actively. Uh, it doesn't feel like remote working. It feels like we are next rooms. If there is someone watching this video with the idea of joining the Wiener Kreisberg in Greece or not in Greece, what advice do you have to give them? That you should definitely take a chance and meet us. Like, because right now uh, you don't know what you're missing, right? Thank you very much for your time, Jorgos. It was a lovely conversation. I really hope that this month can turn into many, many more with us. So have a nice time. Thank you very much, Sergio. Fingers crossed. Ciao, Jorgos. <laughs>